Peace. This is Monroe Jr. I'll be giving my commentary right after this video. Peace. Is it 80 cents or 8 cents? Well, it's 8 cents. 8, eight, 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 eight cents an hour. Yeah. Just work in general. Oh, yeah, it's like eight That's the minimum, 8, eight cents an hour. Eight, 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 Robert Kraft said, what? So if you work for 10 hours, that's 80 cents an hour? You make 24 hours every two I said, weeks. That's slavery. And I talk about that in the song. I just went to jail for six months, read a lot of books, been through some real experiences, I'm relatable to a lot of people, a lot of people going through the system. Yeah, I, I, I felt like I got a responsibility from when I was locked up with certain dudes and, and me leaving. Knowing that I got the support I got, I got billionaires, I got the support from fans and people, I got like a lot of resources, a lot of people that's stuck in them positions, they don't got resources and they're going to be stuck in them positions, probably most, some of them forever. So, you know, I, I always felt like I was responsible to reach back for a few and help. Peace, peace, peace. This your brother Monroe Jr. Yo, shout out to uh, Meek Mill. As our brother talked about how the prison labor is like modern day slavery, where brothers are making 80 cents an hour. And, uh, you know, I, I really respect me for that, you know, using his platform, being considerate about the little man, man. There's something about a man in his heart when he's been through a situation. And he sees the suffering of his brethren. And like a servant wants to reach back down. Huh? Into that abyss to try to save some of his brothers or awaken the masses to what his brothers are going through. And it's real. You know, some prisons even have contracts where... They have to have a certain level of the prison field, or if not, the city, right? Or the state has to foot the bill via taxes for that shortage of prisoners. So naturally, if the city or the state has to foot the bill via taxes, then they're going to work to f meet those quotas, meet those demands so that those contracts can be f fulfilled. And most Americans wonder where most of the jobs are. You know, you have all of these white supremacists out here mad at the Latinos. For doing the work that nobody else really desires to do out in the fields in California, getting it in. But see, the, the ignorant who are not wise to the real manipulators, the real wicked businessmen who walk around in suits, right? Putting on the show of morality, the show of principality, the show of integrity, but their hearts are full of evil. And they now have the American people warring against each other because they're thinking that the poor Latinos who are coming over here trying to make a living are the enemies. No, it's these white wicked men walking around trying to increase their bottom line who are sending the jobs over to cheap labor markets overseas who are sending the jobs and in, instilling them in the private prisons around america and as meek said paying 80 cents an hour well hell what's their return on investment for paying these brothers 80 cents an hour these white men are taxing rich like never before while the masses of the american people are getting poorer and poorer it's no longer about the the, the common man anymore it's about how much i have right forget about y'all the masses it's about the five percent right enriching themselves keeping that wealth within their families why they play the ignorant masses off 
against each other, right? So, man, I, I, I salute Meek Mill for coming out, you know, using his bully pit, uh, pulpit, using his stage, using his voice, using his energy, using his creativity to try to bring awareness to real issues, you know? And uh, that, that's what life is about. You know, service over self. Hashtag service over self. Go ahead, Meek Mill. It's your brother Monroe Jr. I'm signing off. Peace.